Right at the beginning of his response, Professor Kessler named four important areas for the future. I've listed these on the slide, and I'll just say a couple of words about each one, but you can find out more about these by just looking on Google. These are the exact expressions that people use to refer to the four ideas, all of which are main topics as we look to the future. The first one is artificial intelligence. This is an area of computer science and engineering that tries to engineer computers to behave like humans within a particular domain. So anytime a computer seems to be doing something that's kind of smart, like turning the right information, answering questions, doing various kinds of decision-making processes, there's some form of artificial intelligence involved. This is a very large area and continues to be something that people work on a lot. The second one is virtual reality. That refers to an environment that affects the senses to make a person experience a location. So a lot of entertainment applications use virtual reality technologies to try to get the person, the user, to feel like they are really in a particular place. The third is big data. This refers to large collections of data that, re that require analysis by computer. The idea is that there's lots and lots of information out there that can be collected and that is collected routinely. But there's so much information that the human eye could not process it and make interpretations from it. And, and therefore, computer programs are needed to do that. But the term is big data. The fourth one is the Internet of Things. That refers to connecting physical devices like vehicles and buildings over the Internet so that you can have actual physical things in your space that can be controlled and that can perform based on the information that they get online. So these are expressions that you're likely to hear more about and you might want to read more about. They're all really interesting research areas that are starting to have an effect on some of the applications that we actually have access to. And particularly, Professor Kessler talked about some of those. The last question asked Professor Kessler to play the role of a futurist. Futurists make predictions about what is coming in the future based on their examination of current technologies and past experiences. There's a lot of data that goes into making predictions about the future. The question for us, though, is should English language teachers be futurists? Do we need to think about what's coming in the future? How much should the technologies and the predictions made by other futurists play into our thinking about English language teaching? When I think about English language teachers as futurists, I have to say that maybe we should be futurists to some extent. But at the same time, English language teachers cannot live completely in their imagination of the future. They need to work in the real world by understanding what is possible in their own teaching context. In other words, they need to take a social pragmatist's perspective as well. In the early 2000s, I wrote a book about language learning and technology and I asked the question about how English language teachers should position themselves with respect to the future and the predictions of futurists. In the illustration, I have the English language teacher, and the idea is that the English language teacher might take into account the futurist vision of things to come. <laughs> 